a beam of laser light is directed towards a narrow slit. So we're going to shine a light through this dot. Shine a light through this dot here, passing through the slit. Okay. After emerging from the other side of the slit, the diffracted light then falls on a screen. So what is the pattern seen on the screen? All right. So if you think about a wave, right? Let's say this is your the normal picture for diffraction that we normally see. There's a little gap here, and then the wave will be incoming. So let's say I change the purple. The wave will be incoming, and then finally when it reaches the gap, after that it will spread out. Remember this? So this spreading out sort of comes from the gap. This is the gap, and then it spreads out to the side. So now your gap looks like this. This is your hole. This is the slit here. So the spreading out happens horizontally. Okay. So if let's say this is your this is if I view from the top, and this is your panel. The light will come this way. Okay, and because this is the slit. I view from the top here, I cannot see the slit. I cannot see the slit if I look from the top. So what will happen is that the wave will spread out in this way. And then if I throw a screen at the back, what I will see on the screen is, uh, let's say the wave will spread out this way. What I will see on the screen is actually a horizontal line. Because the slit is vertical, when we reach the slit, it will spread out horizontally. So the answer is Okay, C is when the panel is like this and the slit is like this. This is for C. Because then the wave will spread out away from the gap. Okay, so we always travel away from uh, here, travel away from the gap. So in this case, the gap is vertical. So we travel away from the gap. So it becomes horizontal. Okay? If in this case it travels away from the gap, so it becomes a vertical. So you need to visualize this a bit. Lah. D is just D happens if instead of a slit, you replace the slit with a pinhole. Like your, your panel looks like this. The yeah. Ah, then it will spread in all direction. Okay, so replace it with a tiny hole like that. And a this one shows no diffraction, which is an immediate sus law. Alright, so that's it for this question. It's just identifying the diffraction pattern. Remember, you will spread outwards away from your hole or your gap. Alright, so that's it for this one.